Hello everyone. Today I will be walking you through our mobile app. So Seven Shifts is downloadable on iOS and Android, free for user download. Click on the app there and I will right now I will log in as an admin. I'll also log in as a manager and an employee so that you're able to see it from all sides. Every user in the account will need an email address in order to log in. And upon logging in, what you will be able to see if I flip back through the days here, you can see the hourly breakdown of sales as well as labor cost throughout the day. So this is your dashboard that you're going to have here. If your POS system integrates with seven shifts, you will see your sales automatically populate in 15 minute increments. You can change your location just by doing it up here. We'll just switch the companies here so I can show you around. And so uh, if you have multiple accounts, you will see the toggle underneath the profile picture there. So that was our manager dashboard. And now under my shifts, if you are an admin and you do schedule yourself, my shifts will appear here. This admin is not on the schedule, so that's why no shifts are appearing. For the schedule, click it. You'll see the daily schedule there. So you can see um, in the corner at the top next to Chris here, you'll see that NS flag sitting in the top right hand corner. That is our shift flag feature. So that means that he was a no show today. And uh, if you click on the shift, you can see all the details here. That offer up button will allow you to offer up the shift on behalf of the employee. Employees also have this option for themselves to do it. I'll show you that when I get to the employee app. You can see the details, um, any shift notes that have been made. Clicking on these three dots in the top right hand corner. This is where you can delete or edit the shift as well as change the shift flag. So that was just where I had the shift flag there. So marked as no show and now it's marked as sick. So head back, you can scroll through the day and see exactly who's working just in different time increments. You can flip between the days at the top and next you'll see our events calendar. On the menu here. So any day with an orange dot has an event associated with it. To add an event you'll just want to click the top uh, the plus sign in the top right hand corner, choose the location, choose the time, and any description that you want the employees to see. So only admins and managers are able to create events, but employees will be able to see them on the daily schedule. 99% uh, of the time, employees will be working strictly from the mobile app. So I'll show you what they'll be seeing on their end when I get to the employee side. Save the event and you'll see uh, that it populated there. So going back, uh, there's three different types of requests you'll receive from employees in seven shifts, availability, time off, and shift pool. Availability, when it comes to you for approval, it will look like so. You're able to click on it and see exactly what they have requested. These three little dots in the top right hand corner will allow you to decline or approve it. You're also able to leave a message for that employee if you need to when doing that. So uh, employees can either submit repeating or weekly availability. If they have repeating availability and submit weekly, that will override the repeating availability. Heading back here, now you'll see the time off. So this is the other side of the request for employees. When you get a time off request, it will look like so. You can click in to view it and you can approve it right there. If you do need to decline it, you just click those three dots on the top right hand corner to click decline. From the web app, you can also, the web app, not the mobile app here, you can block days. So uh, when employees are submitting them, that would be prevented for them there. Shift pool. So these are any, uh, when an employee logs in, they're able to offer up their shifts into the shift pool and only people who are qualified to work those shifts are able to uh, pick them up. So you can see here, click on the shift and Aurora would like to bid on it. So it shows that she will go into no overtime. If she was in, to go into overtime, you would be warned here or if she had a conflicting shift, you would be warned here at all as well. So if you would like to assign this, just click assign and the shift is changed automatically on the schedule and all parties are notified. So at the bottom here, you'll see I'm on the request tab. If you click up for grabs, you'll be able to see any shifts that are currently in the shift pool. 
Open shifts are shifts that a manager or admin can create for employees to be able to bid on them. So you'll be able to see exactly, you can take it on behalf of you or uh, employees would be able to bid on it as well. And back to the menu, admins and managers will have access to the manager logbook on mobile. So you can see exactly what has been written. You get your sales and labor as well as your labor target percentage and the weather update right in the manager logbook. Once you make an entry, you are able to, uh, all of the managers within the account will be notified. So let's just make an entry here. There we go, so all the managers are notified then. You can also send a summary at the end of the day just by clicking this airplane, this paper airplane in the top right hand corner to send the summary. So next is our messaging feature. So the first tab it brings you on, you'll see the latest announcement that was sent. So under groups you'll have, you'll be able to choose between which groups you'll want to chat with. Uh, this is a two-way communication with employees. So admins, managers, and employees are able to chat back and forth with each other through these groups. So if you just wanted to message your cooks, just click on cook, cooks, create a post, type anything you like and send. So now employees will be able to reply to that, comment on it, and create their own posts. And then chats next to groups. This is where you can come to create your own custom chats with whoever you like uh, in the account. So employees will have the same access. This is great because you'll no longer have to provide employee contact information. They'll be able to reach everybody that they need to right in seven shifts. So clicking that pen and paper icon will allow them to choose exactly who they want to be in their chat. Next and then they have their own custom chat. One more thing I wanna show you is the announcements. So you'll see announcements at the bottom. So only admins and managers are able to uh, send out announcements, but employees can always view past ones. So this is one-way communication. Employees are not able to reply. They can just uh, view them and it's more of a blast message to your employees. So now I'll head back to the menu. So under messaging, you'll see the employees here. That is uh, available for you to be able to edit the employees if you want right from the mobile app. So clicking an employee here, you'll be able to see their profile, change their user type if you need to, as well as their assignments. So you can assign them to different locations and departments and roles if you need to. And then HR and payroll, just showing their uh, hire date, what their wages are each role. You can also add employees right from the mobile app just by clicking that plus sign. So after employees, we have my timesheets. Timesheets will only appear uh, if you are using our, mo our integrated app, Seven Punches, which is our time clocking app. So you do have the option to have the timesheets appear right in the app. This will be the same for employees if you have it activated as well. Then my account is where you're gonna come to change your email, mobile phone number, as well as manage your notifications. So the default notifications for users are SMS, text, and email for everybody. If you have the mobile app installed and choose push notifications, then your push notifications will override those uh, SMS texts. Then company settings, so only admins will have access to company settings. When I hop into the manager app, you'll see that it's quite similar to the admin app, but it doesn't uh, include the company settings because that's only accessible by admins. So you can just click to edit whatever you like. And then you can also reach our support, our amazing support team, just by clicking right here in your app. So now I am going to go to my account and log out and log in as a manager. Upon logging in, you will see the daily breakdown again on that dashboard, the hourly breakdown of sales and labor. And heading to the menu, you'll see how uh, it has my shift schedule. Managers are also able to manage events or employee requests, availability, time off, and shift pool. Manager logbook entries can be made. So really the only difference is that company settings structure, which is only available to admins. You'll see a new field here called roles. Managers are able to edit roles just under my account there. Click on it. So managers can 
edit roles directly from the mobile app. They can do this in the web app as well.